on the Coleman of Duff, Dufferin and Col uh, Coleman. That's where we're parked, guys. I wanted to show you, I don't think it is. This ain't the road, maybe it's the next one. Okay, here it is. Corner of Magnolia and Dufferin. Dubbed one of the most photographed streets in America. Is lined with these beautiful oak trees. And it is very pleasant indeed. Charlie checking in. Erica checking in. <laughs> Coming at you in the middle of Magnolia Street, right here, St. Augustine, Florida. St. Augustine, Florida, the oldest city in America, guys. And we are actually at basically the oldest part of the city. Where he landed. Where yes. Ponce de Leon <laughs> said, What is this? <laughs> One thing he pondered upon, supposedly, the Fountain of Youth, guys. Right over here, we're about to show you, man, the gates. You are seeing the walls to a, 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 an archaeological location. You know, like I said, it was the landing point. Ponce de Leon uh, claims that the Fountain of Youth is right here. So we're going to be able to go in here, have ourselves a sip of some good stuff, maybe? Yes. Get us a burger and stuff, because we're super hungry. Oh, my goodness, guys. Tried to go to the fort. Uh... Uh, uh, Casillo de San Martino. <laughs> I've tried to remember that, guys. I'm sorry. But the line is about from here to the end of uh, yes. Magnolia Street. We'll show you. But uh, yeah, anyway, so thank you all for watching, guys. This is our vlog, Fountain of Youth, St. Augustine, man. <laughs> and it's pretty. Dubbed the most uh, photographed street. Erica wants a picture. We're going to get her a picture. A photo. Did they just say that they would have the first meal of Thanksgiving here 43 years before? <laughs> Guys, we are stuck. I don't know. That's pretty crazy, though. Okay. Oh, they're right behind me. Oh, we got to watch out for trans trolleys right here, guys. They run rampant. <laughs> I just heard a peacock. Oh my God, did you hear that? There's so much going on. There's so much going on everywhere. out here. Every damn where, guys. My anxiety's up a little bit. <laughs> Things are moving, motions are moving, or, or everything's in motion. I can't control anything. But you know what? Just control myself and everything will be fine. Oh my God. Wusan and Peacocks. Wusan <laughs> Peacocks. And uh, Ponce de Leon. Look. And hey, look. <gasps> hey, there he is. <laughs> oh my God. Erica found a peacock. I love him. Look like he was coming to you for a minute there. Hey! Hi, Bernie. I like your mohawk. Hi, Bernie. He's like, I'm not a mohawk, I'm a peacock. <laughs> He's like, they're paying me too much attention. I'm out of here. Hey. Mr. Peacock Man. Wow, look how pretty. Look how vibrant. Just hanging out in front of this person's car. That's like a, that's a that's a that's a nice Nissan uh, commercial, huh? You like that? You like that color? Look, I think she I think she's drawn to the color. <laughs> Is that your mommy? This Nissan, your mommy? Okay, I won't mess with you too bad. There's there's more cocks to play with in there. Sorry. It's a good shot for the man himself. Well, that's Pedro Menendez de Aviles. On September 8th, 1586, um, there was 500 soldiers, 200 sailors, and 100 colonists. And they said, we're here. We're claiming this as Florida. Wow. So you are now standing in the first settlement of our nation's oldest city. Wow. That's pretty cool. I like that, man. Super neato. Yeah. God bless America, man. Found you a pretty Wonderful. cool spot, huh, Mr. Deleon. We like it too. That's not Deleon, that's Aviles. Oh. <laughs> Deleon is over there. Okay, let's go see him. Look, he sees himself in the in the in, he sees his reflection in the pic in the car. He he just struck himself. She just pecked the car. Hey. 
Do you see yourself in there in the car? Uh, uh. Yeah, you okay? Hey, 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 hold on. Hey. Let's see if the peacock can see herself in the in the camera. Hey, hey, look, it's you. It's like what the hell? There you go. Look at you. She's like, I want to deal with that one in, in the in the water. The man, the myth, the legend. Looks exactly like him. A little shorter than I imagine, huh? No, he was definitely <laughs> shorter in real life. The Spanish people, they were real short. Yeah. And he's pretty tall. That's yeah. not that's not. He real. sipped from the fountain of youth, which we're about to partake in. Yep, so there you go yeah. anyways, guys. There is a little signage for you. You got it? Good. <laughs> And looked, oh my God, smoked barbecue. Ooh. That's going to end our tour or is that going to begin it? What do you think? Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Are we going to eat first or last? <laughs> first? Okay, yeah. well, let's go ahead and eat then. I'm yeah. Are we going to eat with the peacocks? Yeah. Here's the menu, guys. Tell us what you like. Okay, guys, I may have over-ordered. I didn't realize. I, ordered, I thought we ordered the appetizers. <laughs> I got two plates of food. You got two plates of food. So those are, that's a crab patty. A crab, crab that's a, cake. That's a crabby patty. A crab cake. <laughs> thought we were, she ordered, I ordered crab patty, crab cakes for appetizers. They give her a crab patty. A crabby patty, huh? Um, okay. And you got your grilled chicken wrap? Yeah. I got me some smoked barbecue. Got me a smoked barbecue uh, that looks sandwich. Really, really good. Wow. Mm. Let me tell you right now. Take a bite. Oh my God, take a bite. Good bite. It's smoked, yo. Mm. <laughs> smoked. And then a big old gang of cheese curds. I thought it was going to be. Just a little portion, you know, for a lot, of, a lot of money. But do they definitely give you your money's worth? And it's delicious. <laughs> okay, I might have to ferry some of this back to the car before we go and get our tickets. <laughs> so, anyways, let's eat up and then go visit Found Youth. Yay! Here we go. A little signage for you guys. Ponce de Leon's Fountain of Youth Archaeological Park. Welcome to America's first colony, they say. A little, yeah. Oh, and we can get ourselves some shot glasses. Yeah, yeah. Kind of reminds me of back in the day, man, back in school. Do you remember when you had to take the fluoride shots? You know, if you lived in an area where your water was crap. Erica don't remember that, yeah. If you lived in the trailer park, you do. But yeah, so there you go, man. We're going to be taking our own shots. Here's to good, good life good health and some crazy ass peacocks erica wants to see a peacock i'm so excited about the peacocks <laughs> let's get our tickets whoa old shot of the fountain of youth 1910 yep circa 1910 wow quite religious huh and that looks like a shadow man coming out of the depths oh my god wow he's got his spread on I've never seen a peacock before. Quite interest. Oh, wow. Check him out. Getting his peacock on. Oh, wow. Look. And look at his, look at his feathers. Almost like they got really thick quills. Almost kind of. Wow. He's showing off. <laughs> look at the back. I've never seen the back of a peacock before. It looks so weird. What up, Bubba? Whoa. First stop, fountain, huh? Wow. Paul Yarrow's here. Everybody's taking turns downstairs drinking from the well. The water is good for you, very healthy. Yeah. It's not very cold, though. I've heard that it's not very yummy either. Is it? Okay. Depends on you. Don't listen Don't listen to the haters. It's not sooty water full of nasty chemicals. Oh, okay. All the water is completely worthless. Sulfur? No sulfur, zero sulfur. Wow. You would smell that. You wouldn't taste it. Right, okay, cool. Everybody's 
Wow, and take a look at rendition. The Seminoles meeting the, the Spanners. Wow. How about that, guys? What is this? Silver salt salad. Wow, guys. So this spot was actually wrote about you know, in an old book back in like 1580s or something. Supposedly, some people, I guess according to Wikipedia, it's not confirmed that this is the fountain they use. Yeah. You didn't hear that here. Yeah. Ponce, I am so sorry. I didn't, uh, wow, take a look. It's right there. Now, that's the thing. I, when, I, when Eric was talking about it, I thought that it was going to be like something with swimming or whatever. It's a, a beautiful spring or whatever. But Ponce de Leon, he founded what? Came right here to St. Augustine, found it right here, and believed that that was found of Ethia. Yeah. So, anyways, get a little closer. Not very good. <laughs> I wasn't very impressed. I watched the Here's to a Long Life in Hell. Wow. This is kind of a somber kind of a moment, man. This, seems, this is Yeah, like because once huh? you do this, then you live forever. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ponce de Leon lives within you for us for sure. And man, the natives were drinking from this spring long before us as well. Get, our, get ourselves some here. They've got it split off where three people can serve themselves at once. I'm gonna get myself a full shot of this. <laughs> huh? <laughs> here. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Just good health and history. Not bad. Not so bad. Tastes like trail wood. Tastes like city water. It's good. Wow, that You're is stuck so with me awesome. forever now. Mm, how about that, guys? <laughs> we have just drank from the fountain of youth. That is a vlog that I've never thought cool. that I would ever do, baby. Yeah, I like this those boobies. This is the coolest stuff. Oh, look, and I get to check out some movies. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Much love and respect. Seriously. Wow, and it definitely does have a strong sulfur taste on the back end of it, man. Good stuff. Here's some relics. Bless you. Old pottery. I guess people came out here and they collected their their natural, their, their uh, uh, magic water, man. Check it out. <laughs> Look, they actually even bottled it back in the day. Ponce de Leon's Fountain of Youth Authentic Spring Water. Huh. Bottled it up and sold it. So this, this became commercial long before commercialism was hot. Oh my word, I need that bracelet right there. Look, I'm wearing something very oh, similar wow, to it yeah. right now. <laughs> Thanks to uh, Jesse, crew, uh, Two Spirit Crow. Jesse, we love you, man. You gotta join our uh, Jeep crew with us. He gave Erica that one, actually. I wear it still all the time. All the time, yeah. <laughs> so anyways, very neat, yeah. There's our trash, and? Very awesome. <sighs> Back into the beautiful sunlight, guys. Ooh. Where life is wonderful. And beautiful. And this is not the fountain. <laughs> oh, I didn't throw away my cup. Oh. I'm going to keep my cup. How about that? <laughs> That's beautiful. All right. Yeah. Drink that from the fountain of youth. That was wonderful. Huh? That one smells. It does smell. You don't want to drink from that no. one. No. Well, we drank from the fountain of youth. Now we're going to go play with some peacocks. Sound good? Yes. Yay. Let's go do it. <laughs> don't scare me. All right. Here you guys go. A blast from the past, man. This is what it looked like. Life in the Timikua village, huh? Yes. This is how they lived. These are your first survivors, guys. There are no ABC crews here. <laughs> and look, do you see how all the, the, a lot of the huts are raised up off the ground? And a lot of times they did that for insects and bugs and stuff. Snakes, yeah. Maybe they got hens in right there because look, this is actually kind of ground level. And they got themselves some nice little chairs and stuff fashioned. Wow. Wow. 
Uh, yeah. This is how they'd make their canoes. They would just fall whole trees, guys, and then they would just hollow them out. One piece of wood would make their make their canoe. A lot of the labor of love and effort and survival, man. You needed to work your ass off to survive out here. Ooh, look. There's shark jaws and beaver, raccoon, bobcats. Ooh, wolf pack. Uh, how beautiful is that, guys? Huge cross in the distance over there marks the spot of America's first Catholic Mass. <laughs> first ever Catholic Mass gathering. It's right here. Oh, look at that pretty bird right there. Right here in St. Augustine, man. It kind of touches me a little bit, you know, growing up in the Catholic religion, you know. My mom, my aunts, my uncles, cousins, man, growing up until we were about 10 in Charleston, you know. we uh, It was a tight-knit family unit going to church and going out to play at the parks and stuff afterwards. And, and yeah, you know, when I heard that this was the spot of, you know, America's first Catholic Mass, I just thought that, you know, that was just super cool, man. It kind of touched me, and I had to just share with Mama and, and, and Aunt Debbie and Aunt Sharon and all you guys, thank you for <laughs> bring, <laughs> bringing us up early and young, man, and showing us love and, and teaching us love and family and religion and stuff, because it's still with me today, you know what I mean? I'll never forget it. Whenever I actually got christened, Dad told you guys the story about uh, <laughs> how they ran out of water from the baby formula, and Dad went out to the front, walked out the front doors, and there was a little dish he went ahead and filled up and brought it back in. The holy water that you actually dip you dip your fingers in to bless yourself as you walk into the church <laughs> and i had me a belly full of holy water while they were sprinkling my forehead yeah so i wanted to share that story with you guys with the cross in the background we may not walk over there uh but yeah that is the first uh at the site of the first catholic mass guys so wonderful and they're having a, they're having a show over here what's that <laughs> yeah. It's a hard knock life. <laughs> Maybe you can use that joke for later. Is that the guy that we was eating beside? It was, yes. Yeah. He says they have they have Nathan hot dogs like a foot and a half long. Yeah. We were talking to the blacksmith guy yeah. while we were having lunch. That is so cool. <laughs> Be nice to everybody. Greet everybody with a kind smile on your face because you never know. Definitely. Because they are always. out there always, man. That was wonderful. That's... He's firing a musket. We gotta get close. That's, that's Fire in the hole. Wait up. Oh. oh! Wow! Muskets are a little louder than I thought, yes. huh? Holy crap! Now, my friend Craig wasted eight minutes of your life telling you how worthless my baby is on that crossbow. He did, I know he did. All right, here we have a little monument to Sir Ponce de Leon. Go ahead and take it away, baby. Look, guys, these, Ponce was actually in search yeah, he left of the freaking Fountain of Youth. He's like, Fountain of Youth ain't here in Puerto Rico. We got to keep looking for it. And then March 27th, he sighted this land and named it Florida. Come sailing in from right over that way. It looks like maybe he landed somewhere over there. Look, there's it's something right over here that everybody's walking back there. from that perhaps, you know, might be a, a, a <laughs> I don't know, something else to see over there. Entered the harbor and landed in this vicinity. Wow. So he landed right here. In search of the Fountain of Youth. It wasn't like he was looking for a new settlement for... To uh, uh, you know, to for his people, you know, freedom or whatever, he was in search of immortality, yep, foreverness. And yep. I got to tell you, in that instance, you know, look, he found it, huh? Yeah. His name is right up here, bro. He is immortalized forever. Yeah, that's true. Fountain of Youth. It's quite breathtaking. I mean, literally, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. <laughs> wonder how deep it is right here, how, how deep they dredged it so that just big vessels can dock up here. And, I want to uh, work here. <laughs> yeah. 
You can just hang out right up there and just check out the view all day. No, I would dress up with that dude and walk around and tell stories <laughs> with him. <laughs> hey, you know, one good thing about it, you would they would definitely, uh, you'd be boned up on your uh, education and history. You'd know every little damn thing about Ponce de Leon. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't be sitting here, er, uh, er, um, this I think. You know, Eric would be like, boom, bam, that's what it is. And so beautiful, man. We'll be taking another walk like this in about a month. Yeah. Hunting Island, back on Vietnam again. Vietnam. It's a little it's more water here. <laughs> All right, here's, a, here's what's at the end of the dock. A life preserver, in case you ask. <laughs> Falls overboard into this weird colored water. Yeah. So no monuments or anything like Ponce landed exactly right here or whatever. Just a, it's a beautiful viewing spot. And like I say, right over there is where the uh, America's first Catholic mass was held. Mm -hmm. Out here along the horizon, many, many ships, both Spanish and English and American, all fighting for this land right here, for this fountain of youth. You know what I mean? And uh, I got to say, it's quite breathtaking, man. Life is worth fighting for. It's also worth getting along for too, right? For sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> awesome. So anyways, guess we'll walk back. Maybe see if we can't play with a peacock or something before we leave. Yeah. That one that one was peacocking really good right by the fence. Maybe we mm -hmm. could find him still. He was peacocking really good. Peacocking. <laughs> really good. What do they call that? Preening or Yeah, I guess, yeah. Something. I know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> wow. As Erica was pointing out right over there at the side of first catholic mass you can see a bunch of looks like uh orange construction orange eh? yeah like the orange tape stuff yeah and it looks like the ground is kind of tore up of and dirt. stuff yeah so maybe they're building a welcome center there i'm not so sure how much i like that i guess it's okay but we probably couldn't have gone over there anyway if we even if we wanted to so it's a good shot in good enough shot for us Welcome, step ashore to the Native American village of Saloy, site of the oldest continuously occupied European settlement. Enjoy, or first colony. <laughs> I read first, first colony as enjoy. I am enjoying myself though. Thank you very much. You? Yeah. Yeah, I want to find that peacocky though. There's our marksman just chilling. <laughs> like, leave me alone, I'm on a fucking break. Here is Mr. Deleon. The man right there, the conqueror. That is so awesome. In search of the fountain of youth. I wonder how long that tale and fable and myth survived la florida the land of flowers really yeah oh wow and gators and snakes and <laughs> yeah disney world and ponce de leon thank you sir born in spain in 19 and 14 can you 16. just imagine right like imagine in in early 1500s man ships were not like they are not built like they are today oh, all no. wood there is no compasses no navigation no satellite help this man and his merry band <laughs> sailed just blindly man literally you know in search of a myth and this is what they would leave behind man it's like a lot of balls huh you know back in those days they still believed in uh sea monsters and stuff like that the kraken Wow. Yeah, he braved it. He said it was worth it. Yeah. Sure enough. So then uh, Erica said that the queen actually helped kind of fund his uh, his uh, expedition. And in return, she got Florida for a little mm -hmm. while. Yeah. yeah. The land of nice flowers. Trade. Land that's, of flowers. Why, that's why it was named that, to like present it all nice to the lady. Yeah. No, then I we, really don't know. Now I it's the land the of land Mickey of Mouse. Snakes and heat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's not a very good sell, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And prehistoric monsters. <laughs> you should see this place. It's, it's beautiful. It's it magnificent. Is, yes. Flowers everywhere. <laughs> After we plant that's them, he, he's, like, he's like, you get out there and plant flowers now. <laughs> well, there is. It just depends where, what part. Yeah. <laughs> no, looks like a little archaeological, little archaeological dig site for the chi for the chilling. Yeah. Not for me. Not today. I'm Erica's boyfriend today. No, she's not my babysitter. 
See, I got my big boy clothes on. <laughs> Trying to keep my demeanor reserved. Yeah. So, yeah, hope you guys are enjoying this. I know I am. Me too. Let's find this peacock. Yeah, I'm still talking about these peacocks. Hey, look, it's the good feathers. You remember the good feathers? You didn't see nothing, Capiche? Let's get out of here. Wow. Look at the tail on that one. Oh, get you some water. It's like she was like, I don't know. Don't want it? Is that water? Uh, got a crick in her neck. She can barely move. <laughs> wow. Ooh. Look at this pretty one. Spreading out. Is that how you is that how you sunbathe there, Bubba? Yeah. Okay, what's happening here? Hey, time out. <laughs> Birdie style. <laughs> He's like, we ain't doing nothing. He's like, let's do it where everybody can see us. How about this for a water fountain, huh? You're pretty. Whoa, look at that. How awesome. Mr. Burns has many of these in his backyard. Wow. And them dots, them, them spots are actually eyes. They're supposed to mimic eyes. Did you know that? They wow. fan their heart. It's not just mating and calling, you know, the opposite uh, sex. It's also for uh, intimidating and stuff. Bigger animal. Uh, fan out their feathers and all them eyes make it look like some kind of damn crazy ass monster. Facts. Charlie so Facts. Charlie Facts. <laughs> Did you just say Charlie Fat? <laughs> wow take a look at the construction guys it's a stacked blocks of wood solid steel wheels and just uh, take a look down the barrel of your destiny down the barrel of our constitution of our freedom aimed out there boom stay away because like they said uh you know after the American Revolution, you know, we kicked England out of, uh, you know, Charleston and the rest of America. They would come to uh, St. Augustine, you know, where, um, you know, we would end up taking that too, you know, and then putting up some cannons and saying, hey, it's ours, stay away. Yep. Yeah, so. Ooh, bless you, child. Bless you, lady. Woo, bless you. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Instead of keychains and little knife things, they've got actual bottles of water from the Fountain of Youth with your name on it. Kathleen, Kelly, Juan. <laughs> oh yeah, commercialism at his finest. Hey look, hey, Zultan. Remember, you remember him? Yeah. He told me to wear red and be on the lookout for relievers. You're wearing... I'm wearing, it's called lobster. I'm wearing lobster. Oh. Don't want a shirt. Fountain of Youth glassware. Take you a shot. I'm sure that these are for uh, holy water and nothing else. How about that? I think I drink the water and I feel younger already. I feel a little bubbling. I think that's actually though from the, the, the fish burritos at the St. Augustine Seafood Company, honestly. What about this for my souvenir? Oh, that's cool, huh? <laughs> a little feather, an actual yeah, peacock feather. Cool. This, keep looking up. There may be a rainbow waiting for you. And that's true, guys. You have seen my struggle, guys. And look at us now, man. So much fun, man. Just gotta keep grinding. Oh, keep cooking, man. What do they have here? What is this screaming peacock coffee? <laughs> Woo, warm. <laughs> All right, so that's it, guys. We are ending it right here back out in the parking lot. Found ourselves a nice little spot. There's our Jeep. I'll show you all that in the Bucky's video. <laughs> but for now, that was the Ponce de Leon Fountain of Youth. Yeah. Had a lot of fun, man. I'm feeling strong as hell right now. Young forever. Mm, yeah. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Yes. Remember, like, subscribe, thumbs up, all that fun stuff. We will see you next time. Good night, guys. Mm -hmm. Peace.